Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, here we are the day before Christmas, and you're probably asking yourself, why am I watching a video on fundraising the day before Christmas? Well, it's because you're a nonprofit leader, and that's what we do. We make sure that we are funded and that fundraising and development is always on our mind. We've got bills to pay, we've got programs to ensure that get funded, and that means that we need to be looking for every advantage and take advantage of every opportunity that's out there to be able to learn what we need to do and how to do it. So you've got one week left in the year and there is so much to be done. I've said it many times before, but this last week is just so vitally important to a nonprofit organization. As much as 15% comes in of a, of a nonprofit's budget in the last week of the year. So this is not the time to slow down, not the time to give up. I just produced a video, just released it last Tuesday on the things to do at year end. So if you haven't taken advantage of that, make sure you do so. But our question today is going to be related to this last week. We had it come in. I wanted to make sure that we address this question this week. So our question this week is from Stephanie in Manassas, Virginia. And Stephanie asks, we are down to one week in the giving year. What's the most important things that I could do right now? Well, Stephanie, thank you for that question. And as I said, this is an important time of the year. And I know that you are going to be celebrating Christmas tomorrow for many in this community. And there is so much going on. Some of you are going to uh, be involved in church services tonight and tomorrow, but on Monday morning, you're going to be focused once again on getting those last gifts. And so it is, it's going to be so important that you are able to focus in on those things that will make a difference in this last week. By now, you hopefully have gotten out either a letter or an email, targeted some of those. If you've watched my videos and the playlist, you'll, you'll know that it's so important to have gotten that information out. Hopefully, you've even been able to make some phone calls, but it's not too late to continue making phone calls and sending emails this week. I would send very targeted emails to those individuals who have not given yet. So what you need to do is you need to look back at the giving from 2021 and find out who gave in 2021 but is not given yet in 2022. And that's, that's important information for you because you want to target those individuals and target them specifically by the amount that they gave last year. If they gave 500 last year, ask them for 500 to 750 or maybe 1,000. If they gave 1,000 last year, ask for 2,500 or even 5,000 for their gift. Target not only the person but the dollar amount. This week is important. I would say that at least a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday email just reminding the masses but then also target at least once either Monday or Wednesday, target the giving for those individuals who are your critical few. So make sure that you have a very targeted approach and be on the phone this week with those individuals. Even just calling them up, even if you're unable to get a targeted email out there to people, make sure that you can at least pick up the phone. It's not wrong, it's not bad to pick up the phone and say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I noticed that you gave last year in 2021, you haven't given yet this year, I just wanted to ask you if you'd consider a gift this year. And you may find that they're in a different economic situation than they were last year, they may have had a job change, they may have retired, things may be different, but at least have a conversation with them. It's a great opportunity for you to get to, get to 
find out more about those people, find out where their interests are. If you're a faith-based organization, you can ask if they have any prayer requests and just let them know that you care. When people are going through difficult situations, unfortunately, too many people abandon them and ignore them. But if you are that one organization that helped them, a great majority, if not all, will eventually come back from that difficult situation and they're going to remember who was there with them at that time. So I would pick up the phone and make sure you call those people. And depending on your work schedule for that week, it may you may have already headed on vacation. You need to make sure, is there anyone that could be a backup that would get those emails out for you? And is there someone, a board member, who'd be willing to make the calls? But I would say make sure that you are prepared all the way down to the last day of the year, even the 31st. The 30th and 31st are going to be so important that you are at least staffed and prepared if people have questions. So I hope that that helps you, Stephanie. I appreciate that question and I wish you the best as you're moving down that path and trying to make the most of this last week. And for those of you who are watching, I, if you like the content, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you aren't a subscriber to our Facebook Life Changer group, please go out there and subscribe to that. There's a lot of valuable information. Also, I'm posting all the time out on Instagram with tips, helpful tips, Jim W. Dempsey at Jim W. Dempsey and make sure that if you've got questions, put those out at DevFstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. So on behalf of Jim Dempsey, YouTube creator, I want to thank you for just being with me this last year and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next video.